Hello guys and welcome to another Era of Chaos video. Guys, you know that this game is extremely dynamic. Everything changes in a matter of a week or two, let's say a month. And um, it's been a long time since the last time when I did a video on the best paid heroes, or in other words, the faction leaders. Even though nowadays uh, you could possibly get one from Lucky Snatch, so you can uh, get one of those guys for free without paying anything. But anyways, the point of the video is quickly guide you through uh, the best faction leaders as of today, which is the Ju July 2021. So without f any further ado, let's start with my main hero, and that is Astro. Astro is really strong, he has been strong ever since, with an exception of a small period of time around uh, the awakening of the devil. This was a time when Astro was at his weakest, at his worst, but now he is back in shape. He is one of the best characters, one of the best heroes in the game. Great in PvP, great in PvE. The only drawback of this hero is that he is really, really difficult to uh, develop. He requires a lot of investment in terms of money. If you want to see a typical Astro formation, uh, let me just show you if you go to the arena and try to... Actually, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Let's go to uh, friendly competition, it doesn't matter. I believe I have my Astro formation here. Or if it is not here, let me see. Yes, it is right there. So, this is basically a typical Astro formation. Usually, instead of uh, the mage, you could run Genie or you could run... Um, the monk with the maxed weapon it is totally up to you but in general as you can tell this guy has so many ssrs titan angel naga paladin two of the best urs or commanders this is dragon golem and the judicator and uh, two sr plus if we want to use the genie which is definitely in my opinion at this point better than the mage though when it comes to uh, mirror matches probably that mage has an edge over the genie but it doesn't matter uh the basically all you have to do is use whatever uh, unit you have and whatever unit is stronger now when it comes to astro being meta at the moment i would say that he's one of the strongest characters he doesn't have a really hard counter at this point um i have uh, issues against Dragon Mutter when I miss lane. And what I mean by that is if I'm facing Dragon Mutter and um, he has power around me or let's say more than me and I don't have tanks on the lane where uh, his charges are. This is when I'm in trouble. But if his charges get stuck on my tanks then I'm going to be Dragon Mutter 10 out of 10. This is my impression of probably the hardest matchup of Astro as of today. Definitely not as hard as it used to be. Now let's proceed with the other uh, guys. I will quickly go through them because I don't have them. Ezio, I mean, nobody uses him. I've never seen this guy on competitive stage. So, yeah, he's a very good adjutant though. So if you can get him just to support, he'll be kind of okay. Unfortunately, no, the for his adjutant skill to work you need also another neutral unit so it's getting really really complicated custom bell is really strong now i don't have any experience with this girl but i know that she's really strong i faced her on a lot of occasions really 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 strong so if you find cove uh, let's say a fun faction so go for custom bell you won't regret it Dragon Mutera, she's always good, like uh, ever since her release, she's always good at some situations, at some points, she was borderline overpowered. Nowadays, she's very strong, not overpowered. And the uh, most, let's say, the best thing about this uh, character, about this hero, is that um, you can be creative in her lineup. Unlike Astro, for example, where it is literally one or two units that you can change in Dragon Mutera formation, you have a lot of, uh, let's say, uh, creativity a lot of room for creativity and this is one of the best things about uh, this um, faction leader another negative thing about her is that she like astro requires a lot of investment in order to be competitive uh ciel i don't really know a lot of people who play her there is only one guy who plays uh, with this hero on our server and he said that she's kind of okay fun to play but not really that strong at this point uh kilgore Kilgore used to be weaker now with Troll on the battlefield, he is stronger, but still not really, not really extremely strong. 
Uh, quite honestly, the only time when I lost to Kyogre was uh, when I was facing one of the biggest Krakens of our server, let's say the servers around my server. Uh, and he was uh, incredibly strong, like he had 3 or 4 units with uh, Path of an Assassin plus 5 or plus 6 on his Kyogre formation, so as you can tell I lost. But in general, I don't remember losing to a Kyogre around my power like ever with an Astro. The next uh, faction leader is Sandro. Sandro used to be probably the bane of this game for a five or solid six months or something like this and then suddenly he dropped out of meta and now he's almost unplayable there's only one guy in our server who's playing sandro and uh, what can i say guys he is not really that great but if you like ne necro i wouldn't say don't go for necro of course you have to be uh, prepared that you'll be failing a lot at this stage but who knows probably in the future and as you know in the next week we are going to have uh, the necropolis uh, commander released so probably then sandro is going to be if not great and decent who knows the next hero is a hero that i have but i never play it is tazar again i've seen a lot of strong tazars but my impression as of today is that he's kind of weak probably because he lacks a lot of um, awakenings uh, probably because he lacks uh, commander but at this point i mean he's not really really weak but let's say this way i never lost to Taza in the, in the last two or three months like ever the next hero that i have to touch on is of course zeron zeron is very weak at the moment guys he's probably the weakest uh, not actually the weakest one of the weakest heroes and the uh, commander that was released the venom spawn didn't fix his problems yes he got stronger but not in the way that you want it to be it's like a venom spawn can tank huge he can tank for me for ages but still if your devil dies you cannot rely just on the venom spawn to finish off your enemies and that's the main problem with zeron and uh, probably after we have devil's weapon he's going to get stronger but at this point he isn't really really great and you have to be uh, advised that this is the case next faction leader is gem gem is weak at the moment and uh, again she's missing a commander though she's decent for your third hero because she doesn't require a lot of investment she's my third hero and she's doing just okay but i don't really expect miracles out of her the next guy I have is Roland, and by the way, he's a really, really good hero. I like playing Roland, in fact, I use him in um, the battle of uh, gods, and I don't use him uh, in my other, um, in the server clash, because I really need the Judicator in my Astro Formation, but when it comes to battle of the gods, I can give him the Judicator, and with this unit, he is absolutely insane, and he's helping me uh, get to level 1, actually not level 1, sorry, to, um, to level to place number one in like every second or every third of the battle of the gods and i really like uh, this hero uh, and i think that also you can be really really creative with this hero uh, there are so many units that you can use i've seen a lot of players not actually a lot but i see some players that are using titan and naga with roland and it works pretty great especially on titan uh, because as you know he uh, he relies on a lot of uh, attack speed and uh, look at this Roland against gem and he has power advantage and he's getting destroyed at this situation I really really enjoy playing with Roland of course it is kind of situational for me it's working uh, because I can just uh, rely on my dragon golem in astro formation I don't need the archangel and I don't need the adjudicator but if you need those two and you're maining astro then having Roland uh, is going to be just good for adjutant but as you see I'm actively using this guy in my uh, battle of the gods and unfortunately once again I cannot use him for uh, server clash because um, I need adjudicator I need the paladin <laughs> and I also need um, the um, uh, the angel and it is simply impossible for me to use this guy in the clash of the gods so uh, i'm using my um gem instead but it is what it is uh, i'm just want to let you know this guy is pretty good i don't think that he's useless i think he's one of the better faction leaders in the game so uh, let me just quickly show you the arena placement at this point so uh, you can get an idea of which are the characters that are occupying spots one to ten 
As you can tell, the first two spots, the usual suspect Astro and Dragon Mutare. Then we have one Kassan Bell, again Dragon Mutare, the strongest Inferno user in the server. He has um, max style Venom spawn. And, and the thing I discovered about the mirror matchup with Inferno is that even if you kill the enemy uh, devil in the second five, you, if you don't have Venom spawn maxed out, you cannot kill the enemy's Venom spawn. At least I'm always getting stuck and I'm timing out. Even though I kill the opposing Zeron Devil at second 10, it doesn't matter. His Venom spawn is so tough that your Devil simply cannot kill it. And my Devil is really, really strong, trust me. Uh, anyways, now we have another Dragon Mutare, another Dragon Mutare, we have one CL and uh, the only inf Necropolis user at spot 10. As you can tell, he has a lot of power, but Necropolis is simply weak now. And I really hope this is going to change next week because I hate to see one faction underperforms. Now, let me check, let me show you what is the standings in another server where I have an account. Okay, so here we are. Let's go uh, to Arena and see what's going on at uh, places 1, 2, 10. And there we go, we have a Dragon Mutare. We have here a Roland. Let's see his formation though. Yeah, as I mentioned, he has the Seer, he has... A, a lot of people will say that he has actually a Troll formation, but all these units work pretty good with Roland because of his ultimate and in general his kit. So I really, really like uh, Roland. He's <laughs> really, really uh, fun to play. Okay, we have Dragon Mutare again. We have Kilgore. We have another Roland. We have a Zeron. We have a Zeron. We have a Jedi. That's interesting. And another Zeron. That's pretty interesting. They don't have a single Astro in top 10. Wow, that's really strange. Let's take a look at another arena. Okay guys, this is server 64, let's take a look again here, what's going on. Uh, the first place is Astral, Dragon Mutare, Dragon Mutare, Astral, Dragon Mutare, we have 1000, Dragon Mutare, Kilgore, okay, we have a free-to-play hero and Dragon Mutare. So, yeah, after everything I've seen, I can clearly say that uh, currently the meta is like Dragon Mutare, Astral. There are other heroes that can upset the established order, such as Kassan Bell, uh, such as, let's say, even Roland, if you are strong enough to use Roland. And, but in general, Dragon Mutant and Astro still ruling the servers. Okay, guys, so this is going to be all for me for today. See you next time. Take care and stay safe. Perfect.